Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Forever Brandon TV coming back to you guys with another video on the weekend and his new album Starboy guys, which I'm late on. I didn't get a chance to review it because I've been so busy with work and school. But guys, I'm still going to get a review anyway because it was a part of my agenda to do this review. Now, guys, as you all know, The Weeknd has been in the game for a while now, and he has really been making a name for himself. He does PBR&B. Guys, his music is very, very, very different. He brings a different feel to R&B music, and uh, he makes a lot of different mixtures of rap with a little, a little bit mixtures of rap with a little, a little flavor of a little rock, a little '80s pop a little you know he has a little bit of everything in his music and this is one of the reasons why i like his creativity and his style because he really really stands out as an artist so i'm going to get this review on my boy the weekend star boy his latest album that's been out guys i'm a week late on but forgive me forgive me forgive me now keep in mind he has 18 tracks guys 18 tracks from 1 to 18 these songs are amazing the first song star boy amazing song amazing beat uh it had a very nostalgic feel to it uh, it had a nice little uh uh uh, uh the beat is just boom, 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 boom. it just sounds very familiar sounds like someone else did it but it's really amazing it's also produced by daft punk guys who you all know they do amazing stuff on people's beat you know they're great producers and they do good music but guys the weekend really did his thing i love the video for star boy i think it's an amazing video and an amazing song it's just one of my favorites party monster it's just it's just one of those turn up songs it's just really 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 i really really like i like when the weekend makes them hard them hard beats and he just be just flowing on that shit that should be amazing i love it just amazing 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 okay then number three false alarm kind of gave me a, a 80s feel to it it's a 80s a, a 80s feel it sounds like uh one of those rock groups okay it has an 80s rock feel to it that i was definitely definitely like okay i won't necessarily say it was my favorite but i was definitely definitely feeling that song i thought it was amazing i thought it was dope then we got for reminder this is this song is just amazing it's a reminder for all the women that he has been with you know it's just reminding reminding them about who he is uh, i really really like the the message of the song i really like the beat i think it was dope rocking okay is uh basically they're rocking on a dance floor or dancing on a dance floor or something like that i was definitely feeling it i liked it the the beat to it it kind of had another little 80s flavor on it that was that i was definitely feeling secrets a great great song that you guys probably might like on the album uh it was it was okay for me it wasn't necessarily my favorite but i was definitely feeling it uh, i thought it was an okay song true colors guys this song right here is just probably another one of my favorites on this album that i just really really like it just has a nice r&b flow to it and it's just it's just real laid back and it's different it's talking about the true colors of a relationship uh, and i really really like it guys it's just amazing he kind of had a little michael jackson with these uh with some of these songs he kind of gave me just a little tiny michael jackson okay a lot of people sometimes kind of puts him in the category of michael I, i'm not saying that I will put them in the same category, but he does kind of sound like them sometimes. Now with this one, this this because this is a very nice and laid back, cool song. I thought that he did probably have a, just a little tiny Michael Jackson with this one, and I really really like it. I just was playing this one non nonstop. Star Girl interlude feature Lana Del Rey. Guys, you all know I love Lana Del Rey. Okay, it was just amazing, quick little interlude, and she sounded amazing. And I always liked because that they did another song um on his other album uh, i think if i can remember but yeah sidewalks featuring kendrick lamar now this song was just amazing it talks about the weekend it talks a little bit about his life about not growing up with a father about you know how the sidewalks had to teach him and how life had to teach him how to grow up and you know without you know his family kind of and it's just it's just a deep deep song i really really like it i kind of relate to it a little bit kendrick lamar added a nice verse to it as well it was great six feet under is just number 10 of the album is one of those songs that just those, those those pop like and drop it for the strip clubs it just talks about a girl how she makes her money six feet under i like the message it talks about how women 
you know, have to grind and go hard for their money, you know, and, 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 and you know, and I like it. I, I just, it's just one of those type of songs I was really, really feeling. Uh, number 11, Love to Lay, okay, uh, was just another amazing song that I really, really was feeling on the album. Uh, uh, just has a nice, smooth beat to it, guys. You guys would like it. A Lonely Night, okay, uh, 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 it just talks about him on a lonely night. Uh, it kind of had a, a, a little pop feel to it that I was feeling. It, it was dope. Attention, okay, he talks about how this girl wants attention, and I love it. The beat is real nice. Uh, it's just amazing. I, I really, really get into it. It's just dope. Ordinary life okay this is just probably another one of my favorite songs on this album because this beat sounds epically amazing okay i was definitely feeling i was like listening to it i was like yes as it was dope uh 15 nothing without you now this song right here really slayed me okay when i was listening to it i said hmm okay i'm definitely definitely feeling it i was definitely feeling i said man i was loving it it's just another one of those songs i could just repeat over and over and over again it just talks about how he is nothing without this girl how he wants to be with this girl and I just love it. It's just amazing it's just probably another one of my favorites all I know featuring future is just man when I tell y'all, I've been listening to some Future lately, and I've really been getting into Future lately. I know what I've said in my past videos. I never used to really be in the Future like that. But lately, I have been listening to Future's music a lot. So, I have to give him his props, because I really, really like this song. I think that he added a great uh, a verse to it, a, a great couple of verses to it. And I think that him and The Weeknd have, have great chemistry when they do songs together. I was definitely feeling it. I just thought that the beat was cold. I just thought that this was probably one of the coldest songs on the album. It was dope. If you listen to it, you're going to be like, man. 17, Die For You is another song about how he would die and go all out for this girl. Okay, I don't know who he's in a relationship with or who he's in love with. But he is really, really speaking that real shit to this girl on this song. I feel it coming. It's just uh, uh, one of those 80 flavor type of songs, 80 feels type of songs. I, I won't necessarily say this is my favorite song on the album, but uh, it was dope. Okay, it was dope. It was dope. Still, it was dope. Starboy featuring Daft Punk and Kygo, the remix. Now, guys, it's just a remix of Starboy, and I thought it was cool. Guys, if you really, really like this album, go check it out. Go buy it. I'm going. I'm still going to buy it, even though I'm late on this review. I've been late on a couple of reviews that I have not done late yet. But, guys, I still just wanted to do this review anyway, just to get it out the way and just to add it. Because I really, really like it. Guys, if you really, really like this album, go support The Weeknd. It's out on iTunes. You can buy it on Amazon. You can buy it at Target. It's probably at Target. It's probably at Best Buy. FYE. Just go out. Support, support, support. Thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, check it out. Subscribe to me. You guys know the deal. This is Bang. This is Forever Branded TV. Coming back to you guys with another video.